Good evening. I know I thought this day would never come, but it's finally here. Congratulations to all of my peers who will soon be walking across this stage, and to our families who have been there for us from our first steps to these exciting steps. The class of 2014 has been through the entire spectrum of emotions together. We've shared the joy that can only come after defeating Norman Guilford in football or in cross country. We've supported each other through times of loss and through the awkwardness that is middle school. We've laughed at Mr. Vernon's science puns and been dazzled by his flame tower. We've accepted with resignation our family grades on pop quizzes, but this year, We've shared the anxiety of an uncertain future and the triumph of opening a college acceptance letter. I think that what we've shared the most this year, though, is the password to the school's Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Even tonight, we're still sharing. We're sharing a deep gratitude for Ms. Crunodal, without whom our graduation would not be running smoothly. Many of you are probably sharing the hope that I won't bore you for the next few minutes, and you don't have to worry. A certain student already informed me that if my speech was boring, she was going to leave in the middle of graduation and fly back to the Dominican Republic, so message received. <laughs> There's a story in the Bible called the Parable of the Talents. A man who is going away on a journey entrusts his servants with talents. Some of the servants fully utilize their talents, and in doing so create even more talents, but one servant is afraid to use his talent. Instead of celebrating what he has been given, he buries his talent and hides it in what he thinks is safekeeping. When the man returns from his journey, he is so furious with the servant who buried his talent that the man takes the servant's talent away. I am standing before you tonight because of my talent, which is a love for learning, but I am far from perfect. Despite what you may think, I don't have a magical potion for success, and my grades really never cross my mind. I am far more interested in actually understanding. It thrills me to learn something new, whether regarding a scientific breakthrough or Beyonce theories. My curiosity, coupled with my clumsiness, has caused me to make some ridiculous choices and mistakes during my lifetime. The first time we practiced diving and swim practice, I fell into the water in front of the entire team. When I was about eight years old, I was frustrated with a piece of my hair, so I cut it off right at myself. Naturally, this piece of hair grew straight up for six months, and my family lovingly named it Spree. <laughs> then there was the time when I was younger that I accidentally called the beloved breakfast restaurant Biscuit Valley. <laughs> Recently, I put regular dish soap in the dishwasher and walked back ten minutes later to find the kitchen floor covered in bubbles. Next was when, as a little girl, I repeatedly touched hot surfaces from light bulbs to stoves, uh, I guess just to prove they were hot, like everyone was telling me. I've been pretty independent since day one. Right now, you're probably questioning my intelligence, wondering why it's me up here, and wondering how I am not in a full body cast. So here's my secret. I learned from my mistakes. Even when I do ridiculous things, my gift kicks in and I continue to learn. I have never intentionally touched the hot stove again, and I know that the restaurant is actually called Biscuit Bill. Beyond this, I have realized that listening teaches us far more than talking does. We do not have to repeat our mistakes or the mistakes of others if we just swallow our pride and accept criticism and advice freely. If I hadn't paid attention to my parents, I would have never realized that the beautiful white chocolates and the shapes of flowers at my park scholarship dinner were actually butter pads when they started spreading them on their bread. In my defense, the butter was right beside a piece of red velvet cake. All I can say is that I am very glad I didn't try to pick up what I thought were white chocolates with my fingers in front of the NC State faculty and alumni I was supposed to be impressing with my sophistication. <laughs> so, tonight, the cat is out of the bag. My gift is my brain and my willingness to work hard. Though it's pretty obvious now that this is true, I did not always share my gift with others for fear of ridicule. I know that many of you did or still do the same, which is a shame. We are all equipped with such unique abilities that it inspires me when I think about how much we could accomplish if we were honest with ourselves and with others. It finally occurred to me, after years of shyness, that burying my gift to try to fit in or to avoid failure was serving only to waste my talents. 
I think that in the past 18 years, about all that I've taught my parents how to do is use Facebook, but they have shown me how freeing it is to allow yourself to become who you truly are, not who the world wants you to be. They never let me forget that God made me the way that I am, and that I should celebrate my gifts, not be ashamed of them. Tonight, more than ever, I am grateful for the unending love and guidance. Mistakes are inevitable. No matter how hard you try to be perfect, you will always mess up. You will put your shoes on the wrong feet and walk into poles outside of the cafeteria in high school, like I did. But you will always be able to fix your shoes, rub your head, and keep walking. Don't be so afraid of failing that you never try and end up letting your talents wither away. Use your talents without inhibition and accept the talents of others. Support them as they try to figure out how to best use their talents instead of perpetuating the vicious cycle by making fun of them. Be honest about who you truly are by surrounding yourself with people who understand and appreciate the real you. I cannot promise that this will always be easy, but I can honestly say that learning to accept every aspect of myself, flaws included, has allowed me to achieve more than I ever thought was possible. It has made all the difference in my life, and I know that it will make all the difference in yours. Congratulations to the class of 2014, and I hope that with each day you find a new way to share the best parts of yourself with the world. Kendall Elizabeth Wiggins. Casey Marie Williams. Miranda Ashlyn Williams. Justin Allen Williamson. Dylan Scott Wilson. Justin Christopher Wilson. 